Hey guys, Ray here again. I thought today I might break up the monotony of these uh, review and mod and upgrade videos and maybe do a little fun video. Uh, I'm going to go take you on a, a little dog walk with us um, up here in Campbell River. We like to get up early in the morning, the Beagle and I, and we like to head out and uh, take a walk along the, the Campbell River waterfront. It's just amazing waterfront full of marinas and causeways and interesting interesting things to look at along the way. So um, we're going to head out to uh, the furthest point we go to, which is the, the Discovery Pier, and then head in from there. Stop digging. We're digging ourselves a hole. Uh, yeah, we'll head out to the, the pier there, and then I'll uh, give you some uh, clips on the way back, and hopefully get, get an appreciation of what a gorgeous part of the world this is. So let's go. So here we are, we made it to our destination. This is called the Discovery uh, Pier. And uh, it's a great place for folks to fish off of. Out at the end there, there's a little shack with a fish and chip place so you can buy ice cream. You see lots of people here on a warm, warm afternoon or evening. So this is about as far as we walk. All right, Angie? I take you out on the pier, but dogs aren't allowed out there. If I head out there, I'll we'll have a howling beagle on my hands. So, now I'm going to walk back, and I'll give you some footage of my walk back all along the, the marinas here, along the causeways. It's a pretty cool walk. It's a great morning this morning. It's supposed to be about 80 degrees today. We're in early June. Beautiful. Okay, a little block down from the Discovery Pier over there is the Fisherman's Wharf. You can see down here a little water taxi place. There's a lot of islands just off the, the coast here, so there's a lot of water taxi business on and off the little islands. So they paint this uh, yellow and red. I think it's part of the federal government or Campbell River. Anyway, it's a public wharf. You can actually drive right on it. Let's just get out of the way here. If you look on the other side, lots of working boats on this side. Lots of fishing boats and tugboats all tied up. So next I'm going to go and uh, walk along, there's a long causeway that goes along the harbour front there down to a really nice grassy park. Let's head down that way. This is an interesting little piece, this is called Shipyard Bridge. I guess in the old days, they used to open up this uh, this little bridge, and you can see in the water there, there's some metal tracks, so they would yard the boats out of the water. Spin around here. There we go, yard them up, fix them up in the old shipyard. Cool. And she wants to get off this. She's not a big fan of moving wood bridges. <laughs> Keep it going, Angie. So, Robert V. Ostler Park. Ostler Park. Gorgeous little green space right on the water. Just over there is kind of the main street leading into the, the downtown of Campbell River. It's a nice path, walks all the way along here. Great for riding your bike, walking the dog. Lots of benches just to take a seat. Admire the view across to, that's Quadra Island over there. So along here is the, what you're seeing, this water is called the Discovery Passage. 
And it's just a narrow uh, strip of water, but it's where most of the shipping goes on the east coast uh, of Vancouver Island. Across over there, those mountains over there are on the BC coast, so anything coming from down in Vancouver area up through towards Alaska comes through here. So we see big cruise ships, all sorts of tugboat traffic, all kinds of neat things, whales. That's always cool. Okay, continue on here. Next we'll uh, stop at the Quadra Island Ferry Terminal, give you a look at that. Some cool totems. Big kind of log wood structure here. Gives some shade in the summer. So there's a big uh, native presence up here in Campbell River. Lots of history with fishing and and uh, the river supported a lot of the, the little communities, so you'll find lots of really neat totem poles and wood carvings up here. Well, it looks like we almost loaded the ferry, getting ready to go. Head down to this little marina. You can see it's got a Neat little place, dockside fish and chips. You'll probably come here in a few hours on a Saturday and you won't be able to get a seat. <laughs> Busy little place. It's one thing about this place, lots of seafood, lots of great fish and chip restaurants, stuff like that. Let's go around the corner here. Coast Marina. This gonna get out to the end of the dock here so we can see the ferry taking off. There you go, that's a pretty cool little Coast Guard boat. Zodiac. So I think this is another uh, government owned dock. Seems like there's some uh, transient moorage here. Well, that's the Quadra Island Ferry <clears throat> and it goes just across the, the passage there to Quadra. It only takes about 10, 10 minutes or so. So it just goes back and forth, back and forth for the people living over there and the people going over there as tourists. And you go to the other side of that island and you can take another ferry and go to a, another smaller island called Cortez. They actually have some little campgrounds over there. Back in the old days when we had a camper van, we went over there and camped at Smelt Bay Provincial Park. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous over there. So let's go to the end of the dock and give you a shot of the ferry leaving. There she goes. Queen of Powell River. Okay, so once we get past the ferry terminal, I'm going to take a little bit of a walk along the highway here, and then we'll be on to a, another complex of marinas. That's where Anne's boat is. Maybe I'll take you down there and show you where she's moored for the summer. Okay, here's Anne's little boat named Snoopy. I usually stop by and check on it because uh, the first day she had it moored here, somebody moved it. That really freaked her out. They didn't move it very far away, just kind of over by that pole. But when someone just moves your boat for no reason, so kind of come down here in the mornings and check on it, make sure everything's okay. She loves this little boat. Great fun. She's always out on the water. Um, I've gone out a few times and did a little bit of a post in the video on it so if you're interested I'll leave that in this video's descriptions. There was one trip we went last year out to a gorgeous place called Desolation Sound so there's lots of footage of 
of the boat and the and the waters out there. So like I say, I'll leave that in the description notes if you want a, a link to those posts. So this is the Discovery Harbor Marina. It's a lot full of a lot of uh, pleasure craft boats. A lot of people live aboard their boats down here. And at the other end there's a big uh, section of uh, more fishing boats and stuff like that. But you get also a lot of um, the tourist boats, they have whale watching boats. And they take the tourists out to, to see uh, grizzly bears, and killer whales, humpback whales, all the marine life out there. I'll go over there and show you those boats. There's one there. So they power you up on that little zodiac and you just fly out there. Usually you get uh, all in kind of like a life suits. So it can get cold out there. And if you ever go overboard, the water's really cold. And that's quite fun. Lots of fishing up here, fishing charters. They catch lots of big salmon up here. Salmon capital of the world, they call it. So yeah, part of my morning walk is I'll walk along some of these docks, see what's going on. It's a nice little uh, lunch place here. Hard dock cafe. Pick up breakfast or barbecued lunch. Here's some of the things you can see on the tours. Go across to the mainland and see a grizzly bears, stellar sea lions, of course the orcas, Pacific white-sided dolphins, and seen a, a ton of those when she's out on the boat. We see bald eagles all the time around here. Cool. Okay, there we go. Nice little walk on the docks there. It's a big marina. And there's another little one on the other side. So let's keep walking. We're almost back at the RV park area. This is another little causeway with pubs and restaurants along the, the waterfront here. Okay. So we're on the corner. This is one of my favorite parts of the walk. Checking out what's going on in the, the old boat yard. See all sorts of cool boats here. It's a really old one from 1930s. It's an old fishing boat. Getting some mechanical work done on it, looks like. Sandy Ann. Oh, RCMP police boat. Looks like it's a dual hull. Nice. This one's been in here a while. Looks like it's almost ready to go. We've got a bottom, fresh bottom paint on it. All painted up and cleaned up and ready to get back out fishing, I guess. Okay, so we made it all the way along the waterfront, all the way back to the other end. Just zoom in so you can see where we started at the pier down there. Way down there you can see the pier. So yeah, it's quite the enjoyable walk all along. Check out all the activity going on in the marinas. Stopped and chatted with a bunch of guys. One guy's headed up to Ketchikan. I guess that's in Alaska. Stopped off here. Going to see the backdrop of Campbell River, all the mountains up there. Pretty cool. Hey, go away. People let their dogs off leash. Jerks. Can't control our freaking dogs. There we go. This is at the boat launch. It's always chaos here. I like to come down here sometimes with a coffee and just watch. <laughs> there they go. A nice little fishing boat getting launched. Kingfisher. So yeah, and the marina we were at where Ann's boat is just over there. So we walked around. You can see the boat yard, those white buildings there is the boat yard. And this end sort of more all industrial type boats. All the fishing boats, crab boats. 
few old kind of dirty scows. It's more the, the government area, I guess. Cool. So we're almost back at the RV park. Just this way a bit. See these white tents here? That's uh, called a cruise ship terminal. And it's kind of a boondoggle. They were supposed to, they built this cruise ship terminal and uh, hardly any cruise ships came. So <laughs> now we have this beautiful uh, cruise ship terminal here with no cruise ships coming, but maybe one day. Okay, so literally just about a five minute walk from that marina is the RV park we're staying at, Thunderbird RV. So, I don't think we'll end our walk quite yet. Might as well give you the full Monty here and uh, show you out on the spit. Take a little stroll out on the spit so you can see that. It's another favorite uh, walk of ours. Usually though we like to do it in the evening. Taking off. Cool. What a scene, eh? Gorgeous. So yeah, this is where we come and take our uh, usually take our evening walks out here on the spit. You can see way across on the other side there, the complex. That's called Painter's Lodge, and it's a, a great place to come and stay. Little uh, kind of like a resort with a with a, um, a spa on the other side. A little ferry boat takes you over to the spa. The nice restaurants, and you can take fishing charters. Right, walk out of your uh, your little bungalow room there and get on a charter boat and go catch yourself a big fish. My parents went and stayed there last year and had a great time. So time to head back. It's been quite the walk this morning. Probably covered around. Uh, five miles. It's probably a little tired beagle. Tired and hungry, eh Angie? Let's go, come on. Okay. There we are, made it back home. It was a long walk this morning, but I wanted to, to show you some of the, the stuff we get to see on our morning walks. Now we're back to our little piece of paradise. Hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, this is Ray and Angie from Lovey RV. Happy trails. Cheers.